Happy Wind Down Wednesday, everybody. It's your girl, Lauren Mathis Cornish, back with a brand new video that I know that you all are going to love today. So go on over, get your wine glasses together, get your drinks together, come on over, sit down. Let's kiki and talk all things wine, because guess what? Guess what today is? Not only is it Wind Down Wednesday, but I'm so excited. Today is our new wine release. Yes. Our April wine release is here, and I'm super excited to show it to you all. So, like I said, come on over, grab a glass. Let's talk all things wine, because it's a lot to talk about, okay? Because I'm super excited for what I got to show you. So, hello, everybody. How you all doing today? My name is Lauren Mathis Cornish, and I'm the creator of Love Story Mobile Winery. I'm a small wine business owner based in the DMV area, and I'm an independent, con uh, well, independent wine consultant um, with Wine Shop at Home. And this is my channel where we talk of all things wine. I specialize in wine tastings, wine making classes, wine uh, cocktail making classes, wine sales and distribution, luxury picnics, wine, uh, well, a little bit of wine education. Uh, wine releases and so much more and this is our channel like I said we just kiki have a great time and just talk all things about fabulous wine over here okay so if you are new to me let me just say hello love how you doing today thank you for tuning in I'm so glad that you are over here with me and we could just have a great conversation of wine before we go any further you know before we get into the video because we got a lot of good stuff okay I need you to do four th uh, maintenance things over here okay I need you to number one I need you to like, okay? I need you to uh, subscribe, okay? So you don't miss, you just become a part of the tribe, actually. I need you to hit the notification button to each and every time that I drop a video so you don't miss a beat. And then I need you to share. I need you to share this as much as possible to all the wine loving friends and family members that you know so we can grow our tribe, okay? Because we are a vibe, okay, over here. We are, we just love to kiki, have a great time, talk wine, and just be fabulous together, okay? And if you're an experienced lover of mine who, you know, part of the love tribe and you've been around for a while, let me say, hey, boo, hey, how you doing? Thank you for tuning in. I, you know what? Let me just tell you, I love you so much because you have been really riding with me and supporting me throughout this whole journey. And I just want to say thank you so much. So grab your wine glasses. Come on over. Let's sit down. Get into this wine release because I'm excited to show you what we got going on. Because we got we got some we got some new girls to show you, okay? So come on over. Let's kiki all about wine. So today is a great day. I have the April drop list for you. You're going to love it. I promise. It is a vibe. It is a vision. We got, you know, like I said, we got two new wines to show you. And we got, you know, our, our, our little faves to also show you. But I know that you all are going to love. All right. So, we're not going to keep it long. We're going to get it right into the wine review. All right. So, I'm going to be introducing to you all five bottles. And I already opened up the package. As you all can see. You all know how our boxes give. For the ones who don't know, I'm just going to turn this over just for one second. All right. So, you all see. All right. So, we got the little wine. We got the wine box over here. So, we opened up. And we're going to get right into it, okay? So, I am going to be showing you all five new wines. Or well, five wines today, too. It's going to be on a new wine release. And then the rest of them, you know, they're our faves, okay? So, without further ado, let's get into it. All right? So, the first one I'm going to be showing you all. I introduced you, this to you all last month. And this is going to be our Milano Cellars wine, okay? This is our Milano Cellars California a rosé, Barbara Rosé, and this is a 2019 Barbara Rosé. Now, as you all know, I'm a rosé girl, rosé all day. I love me some rosé, and I had to get her, you know. So, but for the new ones, let's get into the wine so you all can stay with the Kiki and get to know all about this beauty right here. Because when I tell you she is a beauty, she is a whole vision, okay? So, let's talk about Milano. So, Milano Cellars 2019 Barbara Rosé. And winemaker notes, our Barbara Rosé was produced in Sangai, a technique used to make roses by, uh, well, rosé by bleeding off a portion of red wine juice after it has been in contact with the skin and the seeds. Behind the, the light pink color, the nose reveals strawberry, pomegranate, raspberry, watermelon aromas, and light floral characters in the finish. 
In the mouth, we are uh, uh, there are notes of citrus and minerality. There is a good amount of acidity and a medium long finish uh, finish wine. The flavors are watermelon and strawberry. Linger to the mid palate, and the wine is pleasantly tart, tangy, and also tingling. The variables is 100% Barbara Rose. The appellation is California. This release date was March 2021. The chill you serve it chill. The age potential is two years. And like I said, this is a dry wine. The alcohol content is 12%. And it says, fun fact, Barbara Streisand is one of the most decorated artists of all times. Let's see if Barbara can follow in her footsteps. And you're going to pair it with things such as couscous, quiche, watermelon caprese, shrimp cocktails, sandwich wraps, um, goat cheese. And like I said, this is a good brunch or lunch uh, uh, wine that you all would love. Uh, and also we have... And I'm going to be showing you all as well. If you're wondering what I'm going to be reading from, I'm going to be reading from some cue cards that we have here. Okay. So when you order wine, when you order wine from us, we always have cue cards, you know, cue cards are wine making notes. That's actually what we call it. Wine making notes. And it also, you know, give you all the rundown and information all about the wine. And then we also have like a cute recipe in the back. Okay. And so the recipe that's on the back of here, this is our grilled shrimp and watermelon ceviche. Okay. And we also have vegan friendly wines as well, okay? And I'm going to be introducing uh, uh, introducing you to one actually right now as we speak. So I'm going to show you all Milano one more time. Isn't she gorgeous? Isn't she so pretty? Okay. So Milano Rose 2019 California Barber Rose, okay? That is she, she name and she is a cutie. Okay, so the next one I'm going to be introducing to you is our Simbeo. And this wine, now, let me tell you something. I'm a DC girl, okay? I'm a DMV girl. Sometimes we, you know, I look, bear with the, our accents. We're going to get it together. We're going to do this together. If you know what I'm talking about, you can uh, go down there and correct me, but let's get it together, okay? So, the wine that I'm going to be introducing to you all is called Sembeo. And yes, we have a brand new collection, and a, a brand new release with the, the Sembeo collection. Now, if you all remember, and we're going to backtrack just for a second. If you all remember, last month, I introduced you all to a new beauty, right? And I introduced you all to Sembeo. Moscato, okay. Well, guess what? Simbeo Moscato has a sister that that just came and uh, was released this month, and her name is Simbeo Twenty Twenty Uswich Tramer Wine, and she is a white wine. Okay, you see how beautiful she is. She, I mean, look how she is, baby. Let's talk about something. Let's. Show her, show her all for a second. Isn't she a beautiful bottle? I mean, this Simbeo collection. Oh, it is giving. Uh, it is so fashionable, chic, with a pop of color. It is beautiful. Oh, look at this label. Just gorgeous, isn't she? All right, all right. She is, she is a beat. She is giving. Okay, she is giving very fashionable. We've already that girl. Okay, so, but anywho, let's get back to the wine. So. Sembeo, and it is Gishra Tramer, and this is the 2020 wine, and we're going to read all about her, okay? So, winemaker notes. It says, the grapes of our Sembeo 2020 Gishra Tramer, pronounced Gavi, uh oh, Gavers Tramener, okay? <laughs> we're going to repeat that one more time. Gav Verts Tremenure. Gavertz Tremenure. Okay. Come with a Saint uh, Barbe and Mon a Monterey Country Appalachian. Monterey Ava, which includes a Carmel and um, Salonese Valley, is a cool region influenced by the Pacific Ocean with a long growing season. Daytime temperatures rarely exceed 75 degrees Fahrenheit. This a Lacian wine, uh, uh, with style wine, displays floral fragrance like rose petals, orange blossom, as well as citrus and tropical characteristics. 
and lychee. Uh, Meyer lemon, pineapple, and mandarin. You can also taste, uh, uh, taste that in here as well. There is an extra richness and straightforward to the wine. The clean lines express a long, fruity, floral finish with minerality in the mouthfeel. It is this is 100% gush is it tremonera and appellation is uh Santa Barbara California oh I'm sorry Santa oh, I'm sorry Saint Bernardine California the release date was April 2022 you served this cold the age and potential is four years and this is an off dry wine okay. And the alcohol content is 11.7%. And it's this fun fact. The name literally comes from a spice perfume, Tremonier, taking its name from the village of Tremon in South Tyrol, Germany. Gushra's Tremonier is equally famous in its dry, off-dry, and sweet styles. And you're going to pair this with Indian dishes. And you can do it also with Caribbean dishes as well or West Indian dishes. You do Indian dishes with coconut shrimp, scallops, devil eggs, um, sweet potato fries, gouda, and provolone. And we also, and this is actually our vegan wine as well, okay? And you can do a vegan a chorizo ta a, a taco, okay? So, that, like I said, this will go well with, you can do Chinese food, you can do, um, you can do, you know, um, you can do, Spanish, well, Chinese, Cuban, you can do, um, Mexican foods, you know, Caribbean foods, West Indian foods, Indian foods, Middle you know, Middle Eastern foods that has, you know, also, um, you know, Ethiopian foods that has a lot of, you know, that has a punch, you know, of spice to it, okay? So, that is what this wine is giving. This is what it will pair well with. It is simply amazing. And like I said, this is a vegan wine. And it is really, really great. Okay. So our next wine I'm going to be showing you all is our, we're going to be showing you all our Suave wine. Okay. So you all know I love me some Suave and our Suave is our spark, is one of our sparkling wines that we are, we, we just adore here. Okay. I really adore this wine. And so this is our Suave Wiz from our Suave collection. And we're going to talk about this wine. And it says, Suave Wine Wiz. Winemaker notes. Our brand new Suave pronounced Suave is the result of an innovative winemaking technique. An injection of nitrile carbon dioxide is introduced and then whiz. It becomes a wonderfully bubbly wine. This wine displays a citrus blossom pear peach apple with the nose and the aromas of heightened with the carbonation um there is a hint of vanilla in the finish and this is an off dry wine with a clean round nose to the attack lemon notes frames its crisp acidity in short clean round lines to the attack the lemons notes and frames and crisp acidity in the short to medium intensity the variables are uh, um it says variables a property blend of white grapes uh, white variety of grapes. Appalachian is California. This was released in June 2020, uh, 2021. So it's almost been a year um, since we it, it's been released. Appalachian is California. The age of potential is one to two years. And and we'll soon talk about um, why sparkling wines are, you know, are aged a little, little shorter. Well, shorter than, you know, some of the, um, you know, steel wines. Okay, and so it's alcohol 12%. This is a um, off dry wine. To me, I think it's a brute wine and it's a dry uh, it's a dry brute wine and I love it, okay? And it says fun fact. Brute sparkling wine like Suave Wiz refers to the pressure and the sweetness level of um, 3 to 12 uh, grams of residual sugar. Pairings with egg bites, orizo salad, chicken wraps, savory pastries, and we also have a vegan butternut squash salad uh, 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 vegan butternut squash taco on here okay so this is another vegan wine okay all right so the next one i'm going to be showing you all it is our a new one okay all right now i know i didn't show y'all some whites and some rosé so i'm gonna say i 
Red wine lovers, you know I love you to death. Come on to the front room. I have not forgot about you. Let's talk about a new one because I know you're going to love this one, all right? So this wine right here, this little beauty that we're going to talk about today, it is our Fog Venue, uh, Fog Vineyards. And this is a Cabernet. This is a 2020 Cabernet Sauvignon, okay? Isn't she pretty? I mean, let's just give it up for the labels. The labels is like, you know, they 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 real they popping. They real cute, right? All right, so let's go get on to Fog Vineyards. All right. Fog Vineyards 2020 Cabernet Franc. Winemaker notes. This uh, this Fog Vineyards wine allows us to once again explore the great tour of Lodi. And this tries red displays a palette of aromas and notes with the strawberries, the black currants, and blackberries to the attack, followed by pepper, spicy notes, nutmeg, and toasted oak. This is substantially. This is substantially grown Cabernet Franc. It's a great structure that allows for aging. It is a medium intensity to the tack, followed by the dark fruits and heavy tannins to the finish. This classic Cabernet uh, Franc uh, possesses a soft, lingering texture and tannins to the fruit and the oak throughout the finish. Cabernet Franc is a generous, elegant, and always crowd pleaser. Variables, and you do 78% Cabernet Franc, 22% Cabernet Sauvignon. The Appalachian is loading. It was released March 2022. You serve this room temperature. The aging potential is four to five years. The alcohol um, content is 14.3. Uh, so the alcohol content is high and it's amazing. Okay. Um, like I said, this is a dry wine and it says fun fact, high tannins of Cabernet binds the facts and pro uh, fats and proteins that collect on your tongue, making it ideal for pairings with food like steak and lamb. And you pairings with hamburger, grilled pork chops, Cornish hens, rib eye, stuffed mushrooms, Cabernet, uh, Cabernet, and cheddar. You can also do this um, if you want to do a vegan. Um, well, if you want to do a vegan, uh, uh, a vegan pot roast, a jackfruit uh, pot roast, this will go amazing with that as well. Okay, so. And also some vegan rib tips, okay? So, and the recipe on the back it has spicy rib eye, okay? So, I'm going to show this to you one more time. Fog 2020 Cabernet Sauvignon. I mean, it's not Cabernet Franc. I'm sorry. Cabernet Franc. <laughs> All right. Okay, so now we are on our last, well, last but not least, we got more wine coming, okay? But um, we got our last wine that I'm going to be introducing you all today, and you sure, sure already know. Now, if, you were, if you're a newbie, let's talk about this wine. And if you were, like I said, and if you're an experienced lover of mine, it's one of our faves. You know how we get down. Let's introduce her, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, her. <laughs> okay Le Cadu Sparkling Rosé Okay We all know She's a fave I'm in love Let's talk about her Okay Le Cadu Rosé Sparkling Rosé Winemaker notes uh, Le Cadu Cream Label California Sparkling Rosé Is a pretty pinkish uh, Purple color the nose displays a white flower fragrance. It's like a city of road orange blossom. Later on with notes of raspberry, watermelon, strawberry, and hay. And it has, uh, uh, that is expressive and aromatic to the nose. The attack of the mouth is dry and with a round, pleasant finish. There is also an acidity with structure of aging potential. This is a medium-bodied wine with a long-lasting bubbles, which are a sign of quality and sparkling wines. Enjoy right away during the holidays for special and even casual events. Veritables in this wine is rhubarb, French columbard, chardonnay, muscat, Pinagrigio Vachemir. The Appalachian is California. The release is uh, year round. Serve it cold. Agent potential is one year. Alcohol content is 12%. Like I said, this is an all 
uh, this is an off dry wine. To me, it's a dry wine, but it may be, you know, you can taste the sweetness in it, okay? Um, it's actually, it, just put it like this. It's ready to eat for everybody. Whether you're a white wine or you're a sweet wine, uh, well, whether you're, well, whether you're a dry wine lover or a sweet wine lover, this is wine that everybody loves because it is just it's a sparkling rosé. I mean, who doesn't love sparkling rosé? It's just simply divine. And the fun fact, uh, well, we're going to talk about the pairings, actually. The pairings are savory pastries, grilled chicken skewers, shrimp cocktails, cheesecakes, scones. This is a, let me just put it like this. This is a great brunch, okay? Whether you want shrimp, you know, shrimp, uh, what is it? Uh, whether you want chicken and waffles, whether you want shrimp and, um, uh, uh, shrimp and grits, whether you want, you know, fried green tomatoes with, you know, vegan bacon and eggs, you know, uh, um, whatever, you know, ve well, vegan bacon and just eggs. It's just a simply divine, you know, uh, what is it? Um, this will actually go well with a red velvet, uh, waffle as well, or red velvet pancakes. Just simply divine, so perfect, so clean. I love it. It's just, you all know, I have done this wine over and over and over again. It's just, you're always going to see it, okay? This is always going to be in one of our reviews. Just get used to it. You're going to love it. I'm trying to tell you. Once you have it, you're, like I said, you're going to love it. It's going to be one of your faves, like it's mine, okay? So, without further ado, that is going to be the end of our wine review today. I hope you had an amazing time. All of these wines, you can find them on our website. We're going to be posting them um, really soon. Um, but like I said, these wines are just so great. And these will go perfect with your springtime events, okay? We have Easter coming up. Um, you know, we can do wine Easter egg hunts. Actually, we're going to be doing that really, really soon. But anywho, <laughs> we're going to be doing a tutorial about an Easter egg hunt really, really soon. Actually, if it stops raining in the DOV, maybe I can introduce you all and do a tutorial about that this weekend. But anywho. That, let's stay focused, okay? But anywho, these wines are divine, okay? And these are perfect. They will go amazing on your dinner table or on your brunch table um, for your, like I said, for your Easter, Passover. We have Ramadan now. Um, and just some amazing, you know, like I said, or just having a good girlfriend or even brunch, baby showers, you know, wedding showers, all of these wines. Or just even you and Bay. At a picnic or you and bay and taking a bubble bath together all of these wines they're giving those kind of vibes okay so well thank you all for tuning in if you all have any questions i'm going to be uh well i'm going to be uploading all of these wines and um putting all the description box and information down in these wines down in the uh, uh, description box and if you are interested in purchasing any of these wines feel free to contact me at www uh, www.wineshopathome.com forward slash lauren mathis or you can go to uh, you can also go to Facebook, Me Love Story Mobile Winery. And also, you can follow me on all of my social media pages, okay? We have Instagram. Uh, we have Instagram.com, Love Story Mobile Winery. Instagram.com, Love Story Mobile Winery underscore one. Um, we also have Facebook, Me Love Story Mobile Winery. On TikTok, we are, um, we are, love, we are TikTok Love Story Winery, Okay. And last but not least, we do have our Love Story Mobile Winery website up. We, we are still working on it, okay? We are still working on it. So, we launched it, but we, it's... We sort of kind of launched it, but we didn't launch it all the way, okay? But we're working on it, and we're getting it together, and I promise you it's going to be amazing. So, without further ado, thank you all for tuning in today. I really, truly appreciate you all so much. And if anyone hasn't told you that they love you today, I love you. Have an amazing, great, inspiring day on purpose. And tell someone that you love them today. Let's spread a little kindness to you all, okay? Without further ado, bye-bye.